doesn't matter what task you're doing, whether it's the most basic task or the most uh, you know, involved, uh, if you're not building that relationship um, at all times, then I don't think there's any point in what you're doing. I think the attorneys count on it. They may not come right out and say that they are uh, interested in building a relationship with you, and whether it's the attorneys or the other administrative departments in the firm, but that's what we all thrive on. We thrive on those relationships, and I think uh, it's going to be critical that we still build those uh, and we still are held accountable for them no matter what the task. The question is, what are law libraries today and primarily larger firms doing that won't be justified down the road? I actually think it's a, a long list, so I'll focus on some of the highlights. One is I think we'll see a centralization of library services. Uh, too many firms are decentralized today. Two, I think we'll see in larger firms more and more embedded librarians because they're too disconnected often from the practice today. Three, I think we'll see the rise of metrics because today we really don't have good data on what the value is. It's very easy to measure cost, it's much harder to measure value. So I think a lot will need to change for libraries to play the important role they've always played, but they can't keep doing what they've been doing. I would say 10 years ago we were very much focused on content as something that was read and cited to. And over the past 10 years it, we have moved from content to big data, analytics and insight. So we have the opportunity to deliver completely different kinds of products to lawyers where a lot of it is these products are based on content but when you combine, histo you know, maybe it's three dimensions where you have content and patterns and insights, you can deliver new kinds of answers to lawyers and put them in a better competitive position, whether they're pitching a client or have an adverse situation. And, and as I've, I said recently at another talk, the other thing we're, we're really helping lawyers do is look smarter to their clients and, and also not look bad because if your adversary has insights that you are not privy to and that is why I mean I really am on a mission to make sure that all of our attorneys are aware of the um, the products that can really give new kinds of insights and I think one of my concerns about using the, the concept of the library it's people think of it as sort of a linear space and now we are delivering non-linear information, interactive information that is so dramatically different. I want lawyers to be aware that we are a new kind of organization delivering new kinds of powerful inf information and insights.